In this video we're going to have a look at the new teaching tool of sampling variability. To access this you click on teaching tools sampling variability. For this tutorial we're using the marathon data set that's built into NZ Grapher. We can change the graph type to a dot plot although this would work equally well with a scatter graph if you were looking at them. Our numerical variable for our demo here is going to be minutes and our category is going to be gender. So what we're looking at now is we're looking at our population it's not actually a population but for the sake of this we'll pretend that it's population so I'm going to add in my summaries and my high box plots and we can see where the medians are for our population we've got the median up here for our females and the median down here for our males what I'll do at this point is while I'm projecting onto the board is I'll draw a line on here for the females and a line on here for the males so the class can see and remember where my population median was. Once I've done that I want to lock my axes values. What this does is it forces the bottom to always be 140 and our top to always be 380 so as we take different samples the axis doesn't jump around. I'm then going to take a simple random sample of 50 by pressing this resample button. So now I've ended up with 19 females and 31 males. Depending on what year level you're working at you may want to add in the informal confidence intervals. Once I've taken a couple of samples like this and discussed them with the class, you can just keep pressing this button, I might start the slow animation. What this does is every second it takes a different sample from that population and displays it um, as the dot plot. This does one per second and if I do animate fast it does five per second. So we can see them bouncing around all over the place. If I ever want to stop that animation I can just press stop. This allows the class to easily look at how much variation there might be in a particular sample. And if instead of taking a sample of 50, I took a sample of 100, we can see how, what happens to the size of those informal confidence intervals and how much less bouncing around there is. So kids can see the effect of sample size.